Good morning and it's Monday the 13th of May, start of a new week and uh, we're going to have a look at the daily astrology um, with maybe a few astrological tips and tricks thrown in and maybe some cosmic insights. Let's let's get on with it and see what comes up. So the first thing as usual is I will share the chart with you so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Now, we're getting fairly used to looking at this, this setup now, aren't we, with the sun in Taurus. Um, now, the sun moves one degree, roughly, every day. And there are 30 degrees in a zodiac sign. So it takes roughly 30 days for the sun to move through one zodiac sign. But as you know, some months are a day or two longer or a day or two shorter. So this is all rough. OK. Um, we are looking at the fact that um, the sun has got into the same place in the sky as Uranus. So it's 23 degrees and 23 degrees. Um, and this actually is quite exciting. Um, what, I'm going to just stop showing in a second. But before I do, I'll just show you this this moon. The moon has just moved into Leo. It's zero zero Leo zero one. I shall talk about that shortly, but let's just stop the share and, and think about the sun in Uranus. The sun and Uranus, I should say, in Taurus. OK, so this is all about young masculine energy, not Taurus. The environment actually is feminine. That's an Earth sign. But the two planets together, the sun, which is called a planet in astrology, the, the two planets together, Sun and Uranus, they are both masculine. Uranus is an air planet. The Sun is a fire planet. Put the two together and you've got something really very courageous, very exciting, very um, it gives confidence. It spurs you on. It's full of exuberance. Um, this is the, the sort of thing that's around when somebody goes, oh, I know. Why don't we? When, when you get these great ideas, when you've been battling with something, a knotty problem for ages and you're just not getting anywhere, maybe it's some information technology or some data stuff that you can't do. It's getting depressing. You can't get your head around it. This is the type of atmosphere where you could, where you could look at it for the umpteenth time and go, oh, Hang on a moment. Maybe I could. Yes. Oh, yes, that would be it. That I could do that. It's one of those inspirational moments when you just sort of get that flash and you're like, oh, OK. Oh, my God. Why didn't I see this before? Um, this is very, as I say, masculine in, in its um, in its energy. Masculine yang as opposed to the <laughs> feminine yin. Um, and a masculine is all about moving out outwards. It's all about having confidence. It's all about having um, the energy and the wherewithal to just go, hey, I'm just going to do this. It wants to move away. It wants to move forward. It wants to get on with things. The yin part of us, um, which actually is symbolized by the moon, um, and we looked at the moon just now, is much more reticent. It uh, The feminine moves in curves or circles, whilst masculine moves in straight lines. So that sun Uranus should give you the opportunity to crack a knotty problem, to get on with something with a new vigour, um, a new energetic um, goal in sight, something where you you suddenly think, wow, yes, let's get on with this now. I can see it. Um, it also means that we want everything to be in the right place. We want it all to be sorted. There is an element of that as well. But that wouldn't stop us. It, even if there was nothing to do with that, we wouldn't stop wanting to just break free of something that has been holding us down. So the usual um, keywords for humanness, you're getting used to them now, uproot, uproar, breakthrough, breakdown, that kind of stuff. 
the sun is a positive planet it can't really be negative everything about it is about confidence and no worries um, and bringing light bringing warmth bringing joy um, bringing um, something to believe in um, and so if you put all that together you could see we've got you know quite a, 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 a nice opportunistic day um so that's good to start the week and now let's get back to that um to that moon that i was just looking at earlier and go for this share right the moon at this zero 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 one as i was saying there's 30 degrees in a zodiac sign there are 60 minutes of arc in one degree and 60 seconds of arc in one minute. The 60s, by the way, counting in 60s like that, like time, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. This comes from the Babylonians, the guys who gave us the framework for astrology, very clever chaps, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago they were working on this stuff um, and we still use their, their, their counting system in the 60s um, for things like time and geometry and uh, measurements of the, the sky etc so okay um so moon just moved into leo how does that feel um to be honest with you because the moon is yin um it gets an experience of razzmatazz and drama and colorful creativity and the moon is quite kind of shy and reticent it is after all yin and the moon is like oh yeah that's very nice oh yeah that's great um I, I, yeah and i i kind of would like to be like that but oh i'm far too scared um so we wouldn't notice the moon on a day like this honestly we wouldn't because the sun and uranus are just going to outshine everything um but it's i, just, I thought you know it's there it's nice to look at it it's great to understand that the moon has moved into leo um and that the yin um presence the feminine presence is sort of peeking out on onto this exuberant carnival <laughs> of leo and thinking oh no there's no way i could do any of that but okay i'll just stay around because it looks quite nice and it's colorful but don't don't you know don't talk to me don't shine a camera on me i'm far too nervous far too shy for any of this um okay so i think that uh, i'll stop sharing now um, I think that about covers it for today and I shall see you again tomorrow morning I hope um, and it was lovely talking to you and don't forget to get uh, on my Facebook page Alison Chester Lambert Chester hyphen Lambert that's my business page um, don't forget to follow me there if you want to um, make sure that you don't miss any of these daily videos which are Monday to Friday um, and I look forward to seeing you again soon Thank you very much. Okay, bye.